Hi, welcome to Car Mechanical. In this video, I'm going to show you how to repair your convertible soft top roof if it's ripped. So we're doing mine on a vinyl. It's on my 1999 Mazda MX-5 and you can see the gap here. It's quite substantial. I found this when I bought the car and it looks like it would be quite neat but when we look from both sides that tear is quite large. It goes for a good few inches. So what we're going to use on this is something called Stormshore. But the first thing we need to do is to clean it up. So we're going to use some soapy water on the inside and the outside. So we're just going to clean anything uh, that's going to contaminate it, that's going to make the storm sure not stick. So we can give that a clean and let it dry out. Then we're going to use some isopropyl alcohol. So the isopropyl alcohol will just clean up the remnants of everything and then get it nice and clean. So we've got a nice bonding material there. So the product we're going to use Stormshore, we're using Stormshore Black. Now this is a product that's designed for repairing rubber boots, tents, wetsuits. So we've got most of the prep ready for the Stormshore, but what we're going to do to finish up is I'm going to use blue painter's tape and I'm going to tape off from the outside of the car because I'm going to do the inside first. So I'm going to take a double-sided approach to this. I'm going to go from the inside, let that set, and then I'm going to finish up from the outside. So the reason I'm doing the inside first is I didn't want to push the material out, which is why I'm taping. And here's the material we're using. Now, it's a black material. It did go on quite goopy. It's not very pretty. You perhaps could maintain a better finish by going with smaller amounts and going for more passes. When I did this, I didn't have too much time, so I just wanted to get it watertight over a few nights. So this is what it looks like after we've done the first pass from the inside. And I'm gonna show you putting it on from the outside. Now, this isn't gonna be a pretty finish, it's a functional finish and it stops the car from leaking. So this is what I wanted to achieve. So the Stormshore itself is quite a goopy black thick material. And I'm gonna get it into place and I'm gonna put a bit on the card because we saw from the outside that we could see the light through the seam of the glass. And we're just gonna scrape that into place and now once it's all into place as well, we're gonna clean up the bits of mess that we've made. And you'll see that it sort of comes back on itself as well. So you wanna grab a tissue once you're done to sort of wipe away any excess. Now again, you could perhaps have things not as messy as I did if you use less material and went at things with more passes. Now luckily, if you go at it with the tissue, you can clean up most of the mess that you are making. Now, I won't say that my efforts are the prettiest job in the world, however, it was functional. I've had this on the car for a number of months and it's held and it's not split any further. The most important thing was that it wasn't leaking water in anymore. You can get the smallest tubes of Stormshore Black from three pounds and depending on how much you need, it goes up to about 10 pounds. So this is how the car is now months later with everything set. There is a little bit of a fold in the roof, however, given that the alternative would have been a brand new soft top roof on a cheap car, this was something I was looking to avoid. I hope this video has been useful for you if you find yourself in a similar situation. Hopefully you're a bit neater with these things than I am. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please remember to hit the subscribe button. Please leave any comments or feedback in the section down below. And more than anything, thank you for watching.